Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today in our virtual college and military visit series. We are very fortunate to have with us uh, Mr. Todd Hawkins with Advanced Technology Institute. So um, very excited to have you here today, Mr. Hawkins. And um, I am going to hand it over to him in just a moment. I do want to say for those students joining us today um, on the visit, um, if you could hold any questions that you might have until the end, uh, and then we will certainly open it up for question and answers. Um, just so you know, we are recording today's visit and we will be sharing this out later on our Hanover Career Counseling YouTube page. Um, and uh, with that, I will go ahead and hand it over to Mr. Hawkins to get us started. Thank you. Okay, and thank you as well. And thanks to everybody for taking some time uh, to join me virtually today. Um, I know things are a bit different, um, but again, I appreciate your participation. And I, I really got some great information to share with you, especially if you uh, think you're a, a hands-on learner. Now, um, um, as your school counselor mentioned, my name is Todd Hawkins. I'm with Advanced Technology Institute in Virginia Beach. And I'm gonna start things off by showing a, um, a, a this first slide is, a, is just a minute and a half clip. It gives you an idea of uh, what, the, what our school looks like and, and some of the students working. So I hope you enjoy it and then we'll, we'll get back together as soon as it completes. you'll need to know if you have an interest. Uh, as mentioned earlier, my name's Todd Hawkins. And um, if you need my contact information later, I'll be able to put that slide up for it and share it with you. I want to start off by simply going over our accreditation. Um, we are recognized nationally by the ACCSC. And to operate in the state of Virginia, we are recognized and licensed by CHEV. So this means any diplomas or associate's degree that you earn with us um, is recognized and that's important. Now we offer four major programs of study and at Advanced Technology Institute, we do some things differently than a lot of other programs. So we refer to our, our training as specialty training. Um, the programs that are offered include automotive technology. One thing about automotive technology, we include the extra module of light duty diesel. And I will discuss that in a second. We're one of the few schools in the country, very limited number offer light duty diesel in their auto program. And we'll be looking at that here in a second. Uh, heavy vehicle and diesel technology along with HVAC refrigeration uh, give our students a lot of opportunities to graduate having earned several certifications and any certifications you earn with us um, do, are, there's no additional charge. Everything is included within the tuition. That's another thing that makes us different. And also um, the number of certifications that you'll be eligible to earn before you graduate is very important. And having a lot of certifications in your area upon graduation um, is one of the things that's gonna put your resume on top. 
And I know the cameras are on the right hand side here. I don't know how it's appearing on your screen, but the other program may be blocked. Maritime welding, exceptional program. We're an AWS testing facility, uh, which again, will afford the students an opportunity to leave uh, with a lot of certifications uh, having been earned. Now, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics is projecting that between now and 2026, there will be a need for nearly 2 million technicians in these four areas. So that's a little over five years away. And, and that's a, definitely a huge void that needs to be filled. So when you think about job security, as you can see, that's definitely one of the advantages to going in and going into one of these skilled trade areas, one of these hands on uh, learning areas. In addition, um, as everyone's aware, we've uh, been suffering through a pandemic and uh, we've had this national crisis and God forbid um, uh, that you know anyone this happened to, but a lot of people uh, have been furloughed during this time, unfortunately. Um, and we've heard a lot of talk during this time about essential employees, essential workers. Well, one thing's for sure. These are definitely opportunities that will require essential workers. I mean, when you think about the diesel rigs alone, uh, just six or seven months ago, remember when you'd go in the grocery store and the shelves would be empty. We really had a big reliance on uh, trucks and diesel rigs, getting goods and medicines and various things. Uh, transported across the country. Um, so obviously these are, are, are not only a career fields that are gonna have a, a big need for people to go into these areas, but also it's essential in times of, of crisis like we are experiencing, as I mentioned. Now, I, I wanna first start off by going over our automotive program. Um, our automotive program offers bumper to bumper training on all automotive systems, both foreign and domestic. We don't focus on one brand or one type like a lot of other programs because we don't wanna handcuff our students. Uh, we want you to be in demand throughout the entire automotive industry. We offer hands-on training in a uh, real shop every day. And uh, as I alluded to earlier, uh, what really separates our auto program is the fact that um, it, includes light duty diesel, okay? Not sure if I mentioned earlier to you, forgive me, we are located in Virginia Beach, Virginia, which is a, a really great area. I'm from near that area, a lot of part-time job opportunities, and I'll talk more about that in a second as well. Okay, so back to uh, the automotive program. Here we've entered the automotive shop, and we've done several updates in this area of our school over the course of the past year. We've added new LED lighting. Uh, we've redone the floor, painted, painted the entire shop, freshened things up quite a bit. And our HVAC students installed um, uh, air conditioning in these shops. So during the, the hot months of July and August, when you're out there uh, working in the Virginia Beach area, uh, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable for students to um, work in, in this environment since it ha now has air conditioning. Um, now what you're looking at specifically in this picture is a chassis dyno. And what this does is it measures the horsepower being put down to the wheels on the car. In essence, this is like a treadmill for your car. And these are primarily used in performance shops, um, but we use this to help students diagnose drivability issues. We can put a car on the dyno simulate what is happening under real road conditions. And this gives students invaluable uh, training and experience. Now, I, I've mentioned this a couple of times um, and it's very important. Most of the other schools that will talk to you will uh, only include automotive classes, basic auto classes, A1 through A8 uh, in their auto program. And if you wanted anything like training in diesel or something of that nature along with auto training, you'd have to add the other program, which means anytime you add something to your core curriculum, you're gonna add more time and you're gonna add more cost. Uh, but the thing I wanna point out here is that our auto program includes training with light duty diesel vehicles. Uh, I only know of one other school in the country that does that and they're located way out in Texas. Um, 
This is a uh, F-350 Super Duty, it's a Ford, 6.7 liter power stroke. And this is our rolling diesel lab at ATI. This provides real world training where students can actually learn uh, how to work on the vehicle. And um, in order to work on a light duty diesel truck, you have to remove the entire shell of the vehicle, which I think there's about 10 hours of labor involved in just removing the, the cab or the shell uh, from the frame of the vehicle. We're gonna teach you how to do that. I really don't know of any other school that teaches that. Um, so this is one of those things that's gonna allow you, uh, once you graduate and enter the industry, just to have valuable experience and that's gonna make you very attractive to future employers. Today, I'm sure you're aware that Ford, Chevy, GMC, Dodge, Nissan, um, all have diesel trucks uh, and they, they all service these diesel trucks. So we need technicians in these areas. Also European cars like Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes, they have clean diesel models. Clean diesel is one of the alternative fuels and the industry definitely needs trained technicians, skilled technicians to assume these roles uh, in, in the field. Now, this is our priority automotive engine lab. And a lot of unique things here that we offer with ATI in our engine lab. Priority Automotive uh, owns a, a string of dealerships east of 95 towards the coast. Perhaps you've uh, encountered these when you drive through various areas of Virginia. And Priority Automotive invests a lot in our program because they want great technicians to work for them one day. And, and they rely on hiring our graduates upon graduation. So it's a great partnership we have with them. Most other schools you'll find when you tour their engine labs will use non-running four-cylinder engines, okay? Uh, we actually use GM V8 engines and our engines run. That's indicated by the blue thing you see on attached to the engines, that's a radiator. That indicates to you that these in engines actually run. Uh, and um, these uh, GM V8 engines are the best representation of what you're gonna encounter out in the industry when you're a technician. So in this class, you're gonna start the engine, okay? Make sure it's running. Then you're gonna cut it off. And then you're gonna tear the engine down. And while doing that, you'll learn each part's name and job function. Then you'll put the engine back together using your measuring tools. And then ultimately you're gonna to try to start it and make sure you did everything correctly. All of our automotive modules line up with an ASC certification. A1 through A8 are required for you to obtain your master certification. Uh, and we include all of those, but we give you a little more. And I know I've mentioned this a lot, but you'll notice A9 is included in our program, which involves light vehicle diesel engines. A9 is not required to be a master tech, but we're gonna give it to you. And with the popularity of these vehicles, it's gonna make you very marketable once you get out into the, the work field. Now let's move on to our heavy vehicle technology diesel program. What makes this program different is it's all inclusive. Um, again, kind of like with automotive, other schools will offer a diesel program, but let's say you wanted to also get training on ag equipment. You would have to add the ag program to the diesel program. And again, anytime you, you add a, 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 another program of study to your core curriculum, you're adding more classes and it's also gonna cost more. But at ATI, we do things again, a little differently. Of course, this training is gonna involve diesel technology like the big rigs or road trucking but you're also gonna learn how to work on construction equipment, farm equipment, marine diesel, transportation refrigeration uh, uh, as well. And that's a huge, enormous part of the industry. And we devote an entire module to hydraulic systems. Just like with the automotive engine lab, this is our basic diesel engine room. As you can see by the hoses and ventilation, these engines run just like the V8 engines in the Priority Automotive Engine Lab run. Students are gonna start these engines then turn them off, uh, tear it down 
and learn each part's function and name, and then put it back together using their measuring tools and ultimately um, start the engine and make sure they did everything correctly. This is our engine farm. You'll note these engines run based on the ventilation you see coming off of them. Um, here students get experience with Volvo, CAT, Cummins, Detroit, Navistar, John Deere. Uh, we have these engines bugged by instructors and then students need to learn to diagnose and fix the problem. We also have a very spacious shop uh, and small class sizes. So you'll have plenty of room to learn. Having such a large shop allows our students to do in-frame work. They're not just working on test engines and this real world training will help put them in high demand after graduation. Now to complete the HVT diesel uh, training program, we include uh, transport refrigeration systems. Not only will you learn how to fix and maintain the AC in the cabs of trucks and equipment, but you're also going to learn how to diagnose and fix transport refrigeration units. These units um, can be a career in themselves. And when you think about things that need to be in a temperature controlled environment, we, we automatically, I'm sure, think of the grocery store. Uh, we have goods that we buy that need to be kept cool. Some needs to need to be in freezers. And um, these transport refrigeration systems allow us to um, uh, move goods and products around the country in the temperature and controlled environment. But it's not just food. For example, hoverboards were uh, very popular just a few years ago and things like hoverboards and other electronics have, um, they have uh, lithium batteries. And um, it's very important to keep a lithium batteries in temperature controlled environments as well because they can burst into flames. And, and, and another big reason we need transport refrigeration systems is for medication. Uh, it could be because a lot of medicines cannot be in severe climates. And fortunately we have this technology and we're gonna train you on um, these. And we use Thermo King uh, as well as carrier units uh, to train our students, which are very popular in the industry. One of the things that separates our program from the pack, and I, I talked about this just for a second earlier, is the amount of certifications available to our students. ATI is a get ahead school. This will allow HVT diesel students to gain valuable credentials with Freightliner, Detroit Diesel, and Western Star while they're in school with us. I think there's over 81 different credentials that you can earn upon graduation. And if you have all 81 of these uh, achieved, that's gonna put you about three to five years ahead of other diesel graduates that you may be competing against. XL Truck Group sponsors this program for us, just like Priority Automotive sponsors our auto program. Um, XL Truck Group is located just down the street from our campus in Virginia Beach. They're located in Chesapeake. They hire a lot of our graduates and they have an amazing facility out there. I had a chance back in late February to tour their facility, and it's definitely a place that if you're going into this industry, would be great to, to work there and work for Excel. Um, you'll note that some of the certifications, and I'll just touch on a few, uh, some of these that you'll have a chance to earn include 608 and 609, Wix, Meritor. Uh, you, you even have a, a chance to complete the Cummins Virtual College. Uh, certification as well. Okay, moving on to HVAC and, and refrigeration. Uh, one of the cool things about HVAC is you're going to be learning areas of several different trades in one. Obviously, you'll learn heating, air conditioning, refrigeration, but you also are going to learn how to work with sheet metal, how to build duct work. In this industry, you're going to need to learn some plumbing, pipe fitting, pipe brazing, even electricity. Here's a picture of some of the furnaces our students work with. These furnaces we keep on the inside because that's what HVAC technicians will encounter when they're working in the field. Furnaces are located on the inside of buildings. And what we do, just like with the engine simulators, we have instructors bug these 
The students must diagnose and fix the problem. Along with uh, these furnaces, students will work with heat pumps, central air units, air handlers. We even have a geothermal system. And uh, geothermal technology is what, we're, what you'll find in newer homes and businesses. And it's really cool how geothermal systems work because they use the temperature of the earth to help regulate heating and cooling systems. So as with all the other programs, we want to give you real world experience. And that's why we keep our central air units and heat pumps outside. That's what you're going to face when you're out in the industry. You'll be, you'll be out there working on these and the elements. Uh, so we're going to simulate that for you. And our graduates are ready day one to make a real difference and impact in the industry. Although you can't see it in this picture, we have several commercial units that are found on top of large buildings and as well as a huge commercial refrigerator outside as well. You'll find that um, you'll need to work on these, uh, especially when it involves restaurants and things of that nature. Uh, keep in mind our HVAC program is going to train you uh, and prepare you for both work in the commercial industry as well as the residential industry. Certifications, very important. This is a highly regulated industry and you're going to need a lot of certifications that involve being environmentally, uh, environmentally friendly. Um, uh, in HVAC, you can become ESCO certified and you can also earn your universal refrigerant certifications as well. Okay, let's go into the welding program. This is this is a program that I'm, I'm very impressed with. I've been in this industry for 15 years. I've worked for a few other schools, but I can truly tell you based on what I've seen these 15 years, our welding program is truly second to none. It's not a basic welding program at all. Students will learn stick, TIG, MIG, and flux core. Uh, this program is combination structural and pipe welding. You're going to learn with both steel and aluminum. And what really makes our program different is the fact that we are an AWS or American Welding Society testing facility. So what does this mean? This means um, if you do well and, and, and you try hard and you work hard, that you'll have the opportunity to leave us with several certifications under your belt and be certified day one when you start working in the industry. So it's a great program here. These are belt sanders used for finishing. You can also see the grinders and a bend tester as well. We have over 38 different welding booths. Every student will have their own. The goal is to give each of our students as much individualized attention and booth time as possible. The more booth time a student has in welding, the better your muscle memory and the greater your chance to gain industry certifications. You'll never share a booth at ATI. And welding is one of those things that you got to be in the shop to learn uh, um, how to be a great welder. And it's also one of those things that are going to be in the shop doing it is going to allow you to prepare uh, to pass those certifications. Notice the size of the booths. It's double the size of uh, most of other, the other schools that offer welding. And this allows our instructor to be in the booth with students. Um, this is gonna maximize student instructor one-on-one -on -one time, but it's also gonna get the student used to having someone watching their work. When entering the workforce as a welder, a lot of these jobs will have a welding inspector looking over the shoulder of the welder as the work is being completed. Bridge builders, for example, experience this. We can actually prepare our students for this because of the large booth size. Also in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll note the uh, HD screen. We have an HD camera installed in that booth, which allows an up close view of welding procedures. Truly an instruct, a, a wonderful instructional tool. As mentioned, we are an AWS or American Welding Society testing facility. Our students have the opportunity to certify all the way up to 6G as a multi-positional pipe welder on site. I always encourage my students to do their research, compare uh, other schools programs to ours. That's how you're gonna be able to make the best decision for you. 
one of the things that I'll alert you to do, if you're looking at, at going into welding, um, make sure and ask if they certify you all the way up to 6G. And keep in mind, we, we do offer that at ATI. It's, it's a big deal. Um, you're probably not gonna have this opportunity at a lot of other places. And this is a huge advantage for our students uh, when they go into the welding industry. Let me say one more thing about welding, sorry. Um, students that graduate from our program, our welding program, and all of our programs are 15 months long. Once you graduate, if you decide to go on and work for the Newport News Naval Shipyard, uh, if you're hired, they will recognize your 15 months uh, of education with ATI as two years work experience. So you'll start off at a higher rate of pay and we've got a great relationship with them as well. Interesting story. Um, I was talking to a student the other day, very impressed by this student. And um, this particular student is taking our welding program and then they're gonna to plan to get their scuba license. And then they'll, they'll get a few other credentials under their belt. And uh, this particular student's plan is to become an underwater welder. Now that's dangerous work, but um, it's great job, six digit income usually. And you don't work a full 40 hour week because of the danger in being underwater. So not something I could do, <laughs> but um, if you're um, interested in something like this, ATI is definitely where you can get your start. Of course, you'll have to get some other things under your belt after you take our welding program, like your scuba uh, training and a few other credentials, but we're gonna get you on the road and prepare you for that. And that's a, a very lucrative career to pursue. Okay, so basics um, ab about the learning, um, experience itself. HVAC, auto, and diesel students will be in the shop approximately 50% of the time hands-on doing the work. The other 50% of the time, these students will be in the class because there's a lot of theory with, with learning this in these industries. Welding, big difference. As I mentioned earlier, the only way you become a great welder is by actually doing it can talk about it, but the only way you're going to be um, a great welder is by doing it. So those students, welding students, are going to spend 80% of their time in the shop and only 20% of the time in their class, in the classroom. Um, small class sizes is uh, very important um, when it comes to learning, as I'm sure many of you know. And just like the, the, the tech classes, in the state of Virginia, we never will allow more than 20 students per instructor maximum. Smaller class sizes means more personalized attention and it means a better education. Each of our programs is 15 months long for the diploma. That's an accelerated schedule. Um, so just a year and three months and, and you're done with all four programs if you just want the hands-on training. If um, you're doing well in your tech class and or if you're not taking a tech class and you're doing well in your academics, then you may want to consider our associate's degree. And that only takes an extra three months and you can have that completed uh, in, in just a year and a half. As far as the schedule goes, students are in school four days a week, Monday through Thursday, five hours a day. So that's a total of 20 hours a week. This gives you a, a long three day weekend. That's gonna allow for you to come back home and visit friends and family. And it's also gonna be a great schedule for allowing for a part-time job. I, I personally encourage students, uh, and of course it's their, their choice, but I personally encourage students to work at least 20, maybe 25 hours a week while they're in school. Uh, the big reason I encourage that is because this is gonna be the first time away from home for a lot of students. So it's gonna keep you busy. The less idle time you have, uh, the more you'll stay focused, but also it's gonna put a few extra dollars in your pocket. And um, I'm gonna talk more about this in a second, but our career services program will assist you in finding those, that part-time work while you're with us. Uh, again, continuing on with the schedule, students will be in class mornings and afternoon, and there are some 
evening classes for select programs. After graduating, if you feel you ever need to brush up on your training, we offer free refresher training um, for our graduates. So you can come back and take some refresher courses at no additional charge. And also career services offers ongoing career placement. Uh, career services uh, is gonna, again, as I said, help you find that part-time job uh, while you uh, are in school. Tons of opportunities to work part-time in the Tidewater area of Virginia Beach. A lot of people, a lot of businesses and the area really relies on our students for part-time work. Uh, but not only that, career services is gonna help you and assist in finding full-time work in your field of study upon graduation. I mentioned Excel Truck Group. I mentioned the shipyard. Um, we have a great relationship with a lot of employers in the area and they come to us and seek our students. Uh, so that's a benefit as well. Finances are always a concern for students and their families. Um, and um, I, like I say, and I mentioned this earlier, I've worked for a couple of different schools, but one of the things I, I, I like about uh, Advanced Technology Institute in Virginia Beach is we're small. We have enough room for, I think, about 450 students. Uh, and that, that just means that you're not gonna be a number with us. You're gonna actually, you know, uh, get a lot of personalized attention. And one of those ways where you get that attention is with our financial aid department. They work with families and I've noticed this, um, they really do work with families very hard to try to come up with a plan to help students and their families manage the cost of the education. Now, just like the other tech schools that, that talk to you, um, we award scholarship monies to skills and FFA winners for both regional and state competitions. Um, and your the school counselors probably be interested in, in a lot of this information as well. Um, but one of the things we do that uh, I find unique to, to Advanced Technology Institute is we also utilize the Imagine America Scholarship. Um, you can pick up more money that way and that'll basically involve me, you and your counselor um, getting together and it's real easy to pick up extra money that way. In addition, we have an early applicant scholarship. Seniors that apply before December 15th uh, have to do a few things and they can pick up more money as well. Uh, and if any of you, and I don't know if this is the case, but if any of you have ever taken a tech class while in high school, one year of tech, doesn't matter what career field it was. I mean, even if you were taking a tech class like building and trades, which we don't offer, uh, we will recognize that as well. And if you have one year of a tech class while in high school, um, there's an, another scholarship opportunity. Of course, we utilize the FAFSA. 98% of America uses financial aid to pay for the education and manage the cost. This involves grants if you're eligible, as well as student and parent loans. I will go over this information with you when you're a senior and your family during the interview process. Uh, and I'll give you some very important information on assisting you in filling out the FAFSA. And of course, we have the experts back at the campus that are gonna work with you and give you a lot of attention and your family, a lot of attention as well. They do a fabulous job, they really do. Um, I think one of the biggest opportunities though, as far as managing the cost of the education is our accelerated college savings plan. Again, this is one of those things that is uh, unique to ATI. Um, and this gives families an opportunity uh, to save up to $250 a month before they start. So 250 is the max. If you wanna save less than that per month through our savings plan, you can, maybe it'll be 100. But if you save up to 250, and you apply a year before your start date, that means you will have saved $3,000. ATI is gonna match your savings amount dollar for dollar, which means that 3,000 becomes 6,000. Let's say you apply 10 months before your start date and you only save 100 a month. Well, that's $1,000 you've saved. ATI is gonna match you dollar for dollar, which means that $1,000 becomes 2000. So with all the things I've mentioned here, um, we're able to uh, help a lot of families. And, and I can say uh, in the past, I've, I've had some families obviously, and I understand, concerned 
uh, about managing the cost of the education. And I can tell you right now, most of them uh, were um, satisfied and very happy to discover that we were able to uh, work things out and assist them along the way in, in managing that cost. So that's very, very important. Now, uh, many of you live in the Richmond area, and so all of you probably live in the Richmond area. Um, you're gonna need housing, and uh, because we're located in Virginia Beach. One of the things that I like, again, about ATI is we don't utilize dorms. I, I had to deal with that with some other schools, and I went to college as well, and dorms can be um, a little different. I had a daughter that was a freshman a couple years ago at UVA, and she was not happy with her dorm the first year. You know, being comfortable in your housing, no matter how great the education is, being comfortable in your housing can be the make or break deal. Uh, we don't use uh, dorms. We use actual apartment complexes that are in the community. We use several uh, in the area that are located close to the campus. And these apartments are two bedroom apartments two students assigned to a room. These, these, these apartments have two bathrooms as well. Um, you're gonna share the living area, uh, living room area in the kitchen and things like that. Um, and uh, you'll get a washer and a dryer in the unit. Trust me when I say that's super convenient. And also um, you'll have other facilities uh, at your disposal. You, you'll see that we have the swimming pool here, exercise and fitness facilities in these apartments as well. Again, we use several different um, apartment complexes in the area to accommodate our students. And all of them are located very close uh, to the campus. So, so they're conveniently located near the school. Now, this is how the process works. In a second, I'm gonna have you complete a student information card. And uh, I'll explain all that and use our phones to do that, our technology. Um, in the past, um, I would be in your school, uh, in your class physically, and we'd all be in the same classroom together. Okay, we're doing things differently now. We're doing things virtually. So I can't really hand you any information, but um, uh, no worries because you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner of this slide, we have a website. It's real easy to remember, auto.edu. So if you have an interest, a sincere interest in our program, uh, I encourage you, to definitely go home tonight, share this interest with your parents or guardians, go to the website, take a look at it, um, look at the information that pertains to your program as well. Uh, if you're a senior and you indicate uh, uh, an interest in our school, tomorrow I will send you what I call the 24 hour text. And it's basically gonna ask you if you're interested, uh, text back yes or no. And it's gonna ask you if you've talked to your parents or guardians, that's very important. You gotta do that tonight as well. Uh, and so those seniors that receive that text and text back yes, I'll then need to speak to you on the phone a few minutes. I know that's not something we like to do anymore, but it'll only take about 10 minutes. I have a few questions I have to ask you to make sure that you're eligible for the interview. If your parents are around, I'm gonna probably try to talk to them for just a second as well. If we get through that process and find that things are looking good for us both, then I'm gonna schedule a virtual interview with you and your family. And we'll do that just like we're doing this virtual presentation today. Uh, during that time, I'm gonna interview you, ask you a lot of questions. I'm gonna go over the program, everything we've talked about today, uh, but in, in slightly greater detail. At the end of that interview, if uh, we find that you're right for us and we're right for you, uh, I will assist you in applying to the school and setting you up with a tour of the campus. Uh, we like to have our students and their families. We want you to tour with parents and guardians. Uh, that's, that's mandatory. And um, uh, I, I, uh, we, these are usually um, held on Saturdays um, throughout the year. And, uh, and we like our students to attend within about 30, no later than 60 days of applying. That'll give you a chance to meet all the instructors, see the facility. You'll even meet with financial aid and uh, uh, it'll help you get prepared for actually starting school with us. 
We will require you to take an entrance exam that day. Nothing to get excited about it uh, at all. It's, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, will find it to be very easy. Most of my students do. And if you don't do well the first time, you're allowed to take it again. After that, it's just a matter of finish, finishing up financial aid, securing any scholarships, and then you're ready to start. And right now we are enrolling students for our July start date. That's in late July. Okay, I know that um, your school calendar mention will do questions at the end, so I'll just keep rolling with everything. Or do would you like to do the? We don't want to do that with the recording. So I'll, I'll uh, I think maybe this might be when you want to stop it. Perhaps that's up yes. to you. Yes, I'll go ahead and stop um, our video just so you all know that are watching this video. We have posted this to our Hanover Career Counseling YouTube page. Um, you can find links to that in uh, Schoology messages from Mrs. Corbin uh, or myself, uh, or certainly reach out to us through Schoology or through email if you need access to it and cannot locate it. So. Um, Mr. Hawkins, thank you so much for this time. I am going to stop the recording now so we can open it up and ask any questions that we might have.